Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at my Ruger 1022 charger, which is in this bag right here. Now I know a lot of you are thinking already, this definitely doesn't look like a gun bag, and you're exactly right. Uh, this is actually a kind of a cooler slash lunchbox bag. I think I picked that thing up on eBay for like 12 or 14 bucks shipped to my door. If you watch some of my other videos, you know I'm a fan of these type of bags that are a little bit more discreet, and they just simply don't look like they would have a gun inside. Um, it just allows me to be able to carry something like this around with me and no one even questions it. Uh, also, if someone was to glance in the back window of my truck and see this bag laying there, the last thing they would think is there's a gun inside. I kind of go along with this same theory when it comes to my everyday carry bag. I carry a backpack with me every single day and it's just a very common use backpack. You know, something you could pick up at Academy or maybe even the dollar store for that matter. Uh, also, my Ruger 9mm charger goes along with that same concept. I keep it in a little red lunchbox. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description below. With all that said, I'm going to open up this bag and show you everything I have inside and how I have my charger set up. So the first thing we have in this front compartment is just a couple magazines. Got a 15 rounder there, and there is a 25 rounder. If I remember correctly, I think I can get four of these 25 rounders in this compartment, but I just stuck two in it for right now. Then here in the main compartment, we have the firearm itself. Of course, it is disassembled, so we have the barrel and receiver separately. And then we also have our suppressor because suppressors are awesome and the ATF is dumb. All right, so that is everything in the bag, so that's really it. I'm just gonna show you the inside of this bag. I mean, it's literally a cooler bag, and uh, that's what I really like on these bags is because they're cooler bags, they have a little bit of padding, so it helps protect the firearm a little bit, uh, and at the same time, doesn't look like it has a gun in it. All right, so we're gonna quickly throw this thing together. So this is how I store mine. I have the uh, barrel kind of stuck into the brace assembly here, so I can just simply pull it out, put the barrel on like that, and unfold the brace and we can simply put the suppressor on insert our 25 round magazine and now we have a charger 25 rounds and it's suppressed uh, 22s like this just have a long list of endless uses and when you suppress it that list just gets even longer uh, the suppressor I have on here is a tactical solution ascent this is a 22 caliber suppressor uh, the brace I have is a SB Tactical FS1913, and this is a Ferrotech, a Picatinny adapter to be able to run the brace. Uh, also running a Holosun Optic, and I do have a slight riser on there. Honestly, don't remember the brand of that. Uh, and I also have a Magpul Slimline grip. Overall, this package is really simple. It's really slim. Uh, they make some really cool chassis for these chargers now. And I have looked into those, but I have decided against them just because I wanted to keep this package very simple, very lightweight. Uh, I'm not sure of the exact weight of this gun. I'll annotate it in. But if I was guessing, it's probably somewhere around four pounds, uh, maybe four and a half. The 1022 design has been around a very long time, and this action has definitely proven itself time and time again. Um, I would have to say this is probably my favorite configuration of any 1022 that I've ever had. Um, it's quite a bit different than the uh, original 1022 that Bill Ruger designed, uh, but this gun has definitely aged very well over the years, and it has came a long way to now we have something like this. I wanted this to be a fairly short video, just going over what I have here. Um, I absolutely would recommend everything I have on this charger, going from the suppressor all the way back to the brace, and I absolutely do recommend the concept of carrying in bags like this, hidden in plain sight, is the way. I hope y'all enjoyed this and found the information helpful. If you have any questions about my setup or you would just like to contact me directly, Instagram is the best place to do so. Also, if you're not following me over there, I would appreciate that as well. As always, thanks for watching. See y'all next time. Can't beat it.